Hello, welcome back to Markenstein Coin Lab. In our previous episodes, we discussed the motherboard, we discussed getting a CPU, this is the one I kind of liked, and we discussed the memory that you would need. Let's get to the one I was looking at right there. And uh, the next item we would look at is what they call the graphics cards. This is good for mining or for gameplay. Uh, I started at the card. Uh, I'll go back up to show where I am on the website here. This is the Micro Center website and I've arranged my price. Um, the video cards you need uh, that I would recommend start with 4 gigabytes memory and a decent processor that would uh, would work for your mining so as we go down through here you can see these all have like 2 gig 1 gig you need to look for 4 gigs now there is this one here as a 4 gig card but uh, I would suggest a little more powerful processor so as we go through we see other ones here um, this one uh, the would be a very much an entry level um, it would make a little but not a lot uh, it has the 4 gigs and a decent processor, but you would need, that's a GTX uh, 1050 Ti with 4 gigs memory. You'd want to probably move up to a little bit more. You've got, uh, here's like a Quadro P2200 uh, with 5 gigs memory. That That's pretty decent. But what we're looking at for really entry level w would be probably something in this RX 6700 with 12 gigs. This would give you years of use. 12 gigs would uh, would go for years still as far as, as as the mining goes the algorithm or the mathematical formula gets bigger and bigger and bigger and needs more memory to store. So oftentimes you you need at least 4 gigabytes. It says 12 gigs so you it would be a long time before the algorithms would get uh, big enough to go past that amount of memory. The RX 6700 has a decent uh, processing power but as with uh, if you're looking at gaming you have to make sure this will run your games or mining you have to make sure that this will mine what you want to mine you have to sometimes the cards will not always run the exact uh, mathematical formulas you want so you have to make sure that they're compatible so it gets a little trickier um, but generally if I, ha I was the, the next step what I would say would be getting this or this card if we move down a little bit then we get into a price range where uh, it's beyond what I consider budget mining so this is about what you can get these days with that kind of a price uh, it would take some time to get your return on uh, our ROI return on investment um, uh, the you it might take a year or two of running this card to actually get past the cost of it and actually you're making a little bit of a profit but um, if you're gaming then this would be an excellent card for for most games I would think and uh, uh, and again that's uh, you, I mean we could drop to the 1050 Ti but again this won't make a lot but uh, this would probably be I would uh, I would probably look at this I know these uh, 1050 Ti's used to go for around $150, give or take a little bit, but uh, the price now to be entry level where a card that I'd probably want to build is is this one, and at this point I don't know if I could justify spending that amount. So uh, I will leave that up to you and your personal budgets, and other than that, uh, have a good day.